need four cups of sugar, three and three quarter cups of vinegar, some salt, some celery, seed, turmeric, mustard seed. a lot. It's like half the pan, a third of the pan. To make pickle spears. Sweet. Holy cow. It's going to be mostly sugar. Yeah, that's a lot of things. That's true. Pickle spear? It's a cucumber spear yet. Oh, okay. Would you like a cucumber spear? And they're not pickles yet. Okay. They probably just take the cucumber. Yeah. they've been soaking? Oh, it says to soak for about two hours. Uh -huh. They've been soaking for about six. Oh, okay. Well, you know, they'll be hydrated. They're very well yeah. hydrated. They got busy. <laughs> but look at them. Yeah. Aren't they pretty? They are pretty. They do look hydrated. They do. Yeah. Well, you can't complain that they're not hydrated enough cucumbers. Yeah. So, I just take the spears and put them in a jar. Put them in a jar. Pretty straightforward. There's our little spears. when you use salt you want to use just plain salt and not iodized salt okay. something with a canning process so I found kosher salt which has so it says no iodide in it Ooh, kind of Tell me how good it is for you. Yeah. Uh, one and a half. And three and three fourths of vinegar. It says to bring this to a boil. Pretty sure. Yep, bring it to a boil. Reduce and simmer for five minutes. Okay. Hi. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Max heard somebody. He, he was like, oh, I missed it. What's going on? Is the food? I'm stretching. I'm warming up. I'm ready to catch it. Bring me the food. Bring it on. I'm here. I'm going to stand guard right here. Can I help Max? Yeah. I eat anything you make. I don't think you do pickles. He doesn't pickle that. If you cover them with ketchup. If you cover them with ketchup. Ketchup? Ugh. Gross. That sounds gross. There he is! Aw, oh, he's got his He's got his toy. You wanna play? He wants to be stuck. He wants to play with that toy. That's what he wants. Oh look at you dancing! Good boy. Here it goes. Should we eat it? Should we eat it? Okay. Should we eat it? Oh, you sat. Well, good boy. He's like, look, I'm sitting. Please. Oh, wait. Throw the toy. Okay. So he wants this. We throw it down the stairs. Because it gives him more exercise. Let's see how long it makes it. Oh, now it says to just pour the liquid in the jars. Okay. 
So now you are just wiping off the top edge so you get a nice seal when you can them. Okay. I like to think you didn't spill any. Odds are you probably did. And if you did, if you don't do this and you did, then it doesn't seal right. Right. And then the worst thing happens, okay, it didn't seal right. Then uh, you just put it in your fridge and eat it right away. Okay. So it's not like it's a total waste if the sealing didn't work proper. I'm gonna leave this one out, but I think I'll probably go up and can it up anyway, since my canner does seven jars, and that way, in case one of them maybe didn't seal proper, yeah, that's the one that'll go in the fridge. You just put the lid on and then the ring. You just hand tighten them. You don't want to yank them down. Just hand tighten them. And you have to make sure you use brand new. Oh, that, that skinny lid part. These, yes, you use these new every time. Some people say you can reuse them. Um, I don't take my chance on that, but um, but that's to each his own. Yep. It's funny, when I first started canning, I thought, oh, I'll be doing everything in quarts, and I bought a lot of big jars and quarts and the wide mouth jars, and I'm going to realize a lot of stuff you don't want to can in big jars if you won't eat them. Like the pickles, realistically, there's only a few of us in the household that will eat them. So I don't want a huge quart jar of them sitting around because yeah. nobody will eat them all. But a smaller jar, and then these three, since they're a little fancier, I was going to give us Christmas gifts. I know it's only July, but... Oh, It'll be here six. before <laughs> you know it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And since you're already doing it, you might as well do it now. Yep. Alright, she's gonna test out the pickle spear. Alright, let's see. A little crunchy, but really good. Tastes like a pickle? Yes, it does. Enough. So it just had to sit in the, so in this, yeah. in the stuff. I think it's delicious. That looks good. Hey guys, you want a pickle? I eat that. <laughs> so, how long do you think so far it's taken to make? I mean, we left for a lot of the day. Yeah. So I only worked this morning for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, then uh, probably another two hours before dinner. And then we'll probably spend about two hours after dinner. So, well. Is that five and a half hours? Yeah. And uh -huh. you have about a year's supply of two different types of pickles and relish. So it's really not that bad. And it's kind of homemade. Business. I know where it came from. Yeah. And it's really good. You know exactly what's in each and every can. And yeah. Yeah. So that's actually not too bad. You know, five hours and how much do you think it cost? Well, I spent three dollars on cucumbers. Okay. Um. Boy, the tiny little bit of spices, the vinegar, probably a couple dollars on the vinegar, and so, I don't know, six, six to eight dollars. Okay. And you can't buy even one jar. No. At that price. Mm -hmm. Let alone, I'll have three and a half jars, plus two, four, six, seven of those, and well, we haven't jarred up the relish yet. Yeah, we don't know we'll see. So, I feel like you'll have at least that many jars, if not yeah. more. <laughs> if you figure each one was, we'll say $7 each, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's $70 right there. And then relish with that size jar is probably only two or well, maybe probably about $3. And so if you had eight of them, I'm guessing eight, I don't know yet for sure, that'd be about, what, $24. So, like $94, almost $100 with the pickles and relish for about six to eight dollars. Okay. And yeah, five and a half hours of work. Right. But it's not hard work. No. And I mean, how much time would you spend, like, you know, to, when you go to the grocery store, make sure you buy it and get it and put it in your cart. Yeah. I mean, that's just... 
Time too. Yeah. So yeah. something you don't have to do. I don't know. I have it, and the biggest thing is I know where it came from. Yeah. You can just walk downstairs and go get it. Yeah. Yep. Pretty cool. Mm hmm. I would say so. I think we're boiling a little too much. We're going to turn it down a little. We've got just a couple more minutes. $90 or, or say um you take the cost of it minus what you paid for it about 90 bucks I mean if you make it 20 bucks an hour that's about what I got paid to make it that's not bad and I'm still home and so, yeah you didn't have to go to a job somewhere right so I like made it 90 bucks on Saturday yeah. And you still got to go do other stuff on Saturday too. Yeah. Not a bad day. No. I'll keep it. Yeah. <laughs> Would that make it part of the sweet life? That, you are exactly right. <laughs> that would be the sweet life. <laughs> Glass actually broke. Oh man! That sucks. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it down there to cool down. The bottom broke. We'll make sure to play really sad music. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> That one's a goner. Bummer. Yeah, it happens. First time. First time for everything. Yep, exactly. We will leave that sit for a long time, let it cool down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a long time later. <laughs> but here's all the successes. Yes. Yep. We will focus on that. Got a lot of pickled products. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole house smells like vinegar. Yeah. It does. We had to uh, open the window. So, but so. there are worse things. Yeah, it's true. Oh, it is uh, 10 o'clock. I started about 9 this morning. I said big breaks in between, but, but still. I'm done. Yep. And you don't have to do anything because they just have to sit until for 12 hours, right? Yep. They just sit there. You don't do nothing for them. So, tomorrow. Okay. Or they could sit longer. Like, it won't hurt, but you want to leave them at least 12 hours. They could sit longer because. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and then after the 12 hours, then you just put them on the shelf and call it a day? You take the rings off. Okay. Um, and you want to make sure your lid's on. You don't want to try to pry them, pry them off. You just kind of want to, just, you know, gently try to take the lids off. Okay. Um, but they should stay. But you store them without the rings, and you don't stack them. Don't stack them. No. Okay. Cool. Oh, and another thing, too, is they shouldn't make a, like, popping noise. Like no, they once they're yeah, canned, yeah. Yeah, the, the indentation should be hit. Yeah, yes. so if you get one and it makes a little pop sound, it's That's, bad. Yes. It won't, it's not canned, so you gotta eat it right away. Right, so it's, it's not a waste, because yeah, you can just put it in your refrigerator and just eat that one. Okay. So. All right, so there we go. Signing off. Yep. Good night, everybody. <laughs>